Hi, I'm Tomás Weinger, I'm from Collabora, and I will present to you improved document searching with LibreOffice. So first, I would like to clarify what is meant by searching, uh, improved searching. Yeah. Uh, we can search for documents in uh, different ways. Yes. First is like searching internally and searching externally. So searching internally, like in inside LibreOffice, is uh, when we are just traversing the internal document uh, model and search for some uh, some uh, s some string. But there is also another uh, possibility here. Uh, this is uh, searching externally. This is uh, with searching externally. What I mean is generally that we we input the documents into a search database and uh, using the search database then we can search multiple documents uh, for phrases uh, and uh, this is generally what uh, what is this improved search uh, search uh, for uh, with LibreOffice uh, meant uh, in the title uh, so generally, when we search uh, externally, like in with the, the database, that we have to trans uh, transform the documents uh, into text and feed it into a search engine, which then searches inside this uh, transform text uh, for a search result. The problem here is that we don't have a really good, we don't get a really good context of uh, these uh, searches uh, when the, there is one uh, result found so so we get okay we have in this document we found this search result but we don't really know where exactly this search result was found and what is the context around uh, the search uh, result so this is what we want to improve uh, uh, here. So we can search for phrases in multiple documents, as I said. Yeah, and there are, and uh, for this, there exists already multiple uh, some platform search platforms, search databases. The most, uh, the the one we used and most like uh, it's very popular is Apache Solar. Uh, which also uses uh, document tic, uh, Apache uh, Tika to transform the document into text. Uh, like Apache Tika is a library, like a Java library that uh, uh, can open uh, the document and transform it into HTML or uh, just plain text. Another one, uh, which is also very popular, is Elasticsearch, but I really didn't, don't know much about it. Uh, ma mainly, I uh, export Apache Solar. So, what is the general idea? I see the idea here is to use LibreOffice and Collabora Online to add this context of the search results. And we, we had the idea to for a search result, uh, we would render an image uh, uh, where, where this search result was found in, inside the document. Uh, so this is now the solution description. What 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 needs to be done for to get uh, this uh, idea realized? We need to. Uh, somehow create the search data and put it uh, into a search and in the indexing platform, like into, into the search database. Uh, uh, and we have to import it uh, inside the search data platform itself. And then we have to search with the uh, on the search uh, platform and get some result. And after that, we have to render the image uh, of the location of the search result. So generally, first three steps are already implemented elsewhere. But the last one, I don't know if there is some solution to 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 also render the do the 
the location inside the document and show uh, the search result uh, to the user. Uh, okay, so now the first step. Um, uh, with LibreOffice we can create uh, the search result data uh, and we in how we implemented this is to implement it as a new export format. So this means that you can also export uh, uh, export uh, as or save as and uh, it will save the current document uh, into uh, the into a search indexing uh, data format uh, X, uh, XML. Uh, the good about this approach is that uh, we, we implement this as export format is that it provides a lot of things out of the box. Uh, so, so without uh, just implementing it as a ex uh, export format we can just already use it uh, on the command line to co with this S office convert to switch uh, uh, as uh, as it uh, says here. Uh, additionally, it also uh, we can use just uh, LibreOffice Kit API uh, save as function to just uh, create this search data document. Uh, this uh, allocate. The uh, LibreOffice Kit API is already used by Collabora uh, uh, online, uh, which uh, provides a REST service convert to. So we can re already reuse that and don't need to implement it. Uh, okay, so next I would like to search, uh, uh, to, to talk about, uh, about the data format. Okay, the data format of the search uh, data, uh, indexing data is uh, just a flat XML uh, file. Uh, the idea here is why is that this flat, like means it doesn't have a lot of nested uh, elements, is just to be very very simple so, so we can easily transform it to a vendor specific uh, format, like uh, the one used for uh, in solar for example. So, on the top now we can see how uh, one example of this search uh, data format it has uh, like uh, root element indexing always, and then have it has uh, child elements either paragraph or object where paragraph is just one paragraph inside uh, word uh, inside uh, writer. Uh, and uh, object also not just uh, uh, writer it's any shape that has some text is also exported uh, as a paragraph another another element is also object which can be shape or image or font work this one is mainly so that we can provide uh, metadata for uh, additional metadata for the object. So we can also search inside the metadata, uh, not just paragraphs. Uh, and the paragraph uh, has then attributes. Main, most important attributes are index and note type. And addition to this, also object name. Uh, with this, we can uh, then identify for for which paragraph uh, we are searching for inside the do uh, object document uh, model inside LibreOffice. For for objects, the the, uh, the important uh, attributes are object type and name. Name is always uniquely identified, so we can always identify inside the document uh, each object with just with the name. 
uh, then we also export other attributes. Uh, uh, these are like uh, additional metadata, as already said, old uh, text and description of the object. So, how how this is implemented uh, is that we have an indexing export and indexing node handler classes. Indexing export class, just a root class for. Uh, search data indexing export, which then delegates everything to the indexing node handler. And indexing node handler is just a subclass of uh, model traverser. Model traverser is, is just is a class visitor that uh, visits all, all the, the uh, elements inside the document model and then, then delegates this to uh, what what to do with these elements to the handler, and index node node handler then just writes this uh, inside into a XML file with with the structure that I already explained before. Uh, model traverser is derived from accessibility check, you know this accessibility check functionality. Uh, which also needs to traverse the document model, but currently, because it's not, it's like uh, it's just a copy. Uh, it's uh, in accessibility check is not yet using the model traverser, but the idea is that both will reuse uh, this uh, class and maybe some other other uh, uses can be found for, for this. For example, there is one, one use is to, to search all, all colors, uh, documents, uh, colors that uh, the document uses could also use this model traversal. But this is something that we can, uh, we will implement later. So, the next step is then the, to render an image uh, for a search result. So we, we now from the uh, we now perform the search and we get a search result. The search result now ha has to have all these metadata, additional metadata, index, node, uh, type uh, that is uh, important for the. Uh, identify which paragraph or which object it goes inside the document model. And with this uh, information then we can we can uh, render the result. So this process is divided I into two parts. First part is that we need to get the rectangle, the, the location where the document uh, the search result data in the document uh, is uh, located. So for this, uh, we have a search result locator class that is used for this. Uh, and the search result locator can then use either XML or JSON search result data as the format. It also also uses the, the uh, a special uh, structure which can uh, which is used inside tests. Uh, when when we then get this rectangle uh, from the search result locator, we can then uh, just render the uh, the render the image with uh, paint tile uh, uh, API that is already implemented inside LibreOffice Kit. So, next is then uh, to imp implement uh, I uh, render image service uh, inside Collabora Online, so we can use this uh service uh, for for the on the web and uh, for this uh, created uh, a rest service uh, render search result which is very similar service that already exists uh, converts two 
which I already mentioned previously, uh, that is used to create search data for indexing. Uh, so, so the what is needed for the, this uh, search uh, REST uh, service is that we need to provide document and we need to provide the search result. Then we send this, execute the service, uh, send this both uh, to the Collabora online server and we get back the rendered image of the search result location. So this, I, I now uh, explained mostly what was done on LibreOffice Libre and uh, Collabora online, but how everything is now fitting together. This is including the database, including including the uh, Collabora online server, including all the pieces that uh, so that the user can search. And uh, for this, we crea uh, I created a proof of concept web application, uh, which this is looks like this. I will demo it later so uh, maybe first i will explain uh, what what this proof of concept app application does so it's a just a simple web application that tra uh, demonstrates how everything should work together yeah. this is then using apache uh, solar solar as the ser search platform the HTTP server is just Python simple HTTP server, which is then uh, using Python for s also Python for server side processing, also for sending uh, for sending uh, REST uh, executing REST uh, services on Collabora online and Solar, and it uses HTTP. HTML and JavaScript for the client side, uh, and the framework that uh, uses is Angular JS. This is just something I was uh, previously familiar with, and it's very strong with data binding and REST services, and Bootstrap for for the UI how the so it's easier to build the how the application uh, looks. Uh, so the last thing is of, uh, of course what we need is Collabora online server so that uh, we can render the image for the search result and also to open the document itself so so web uh, application has like uh, three three uh, major processes that it performs so first one is the rendering reindexing process uh, this is just needs to fill the solar data uh, database with search data from the documents. Uh, maybe w what I forgot to mention is web uh, web application has one uh, is taking care of uh, one folder in arbitrary folder uh, where where all the documents are stored. And all these documents are then uh, taken in account uh, and printed in on, uh, uh, as uh, are, are available for opening and uh, indexing uh, and uh, searching. So, so the trick is here that we need to reindex every time that the document changes. So how it is implemented currently, we always uh, delete all indexes and re-index everything, but ideally this should happen only when a document document changes, then we need to re-index and we need to re uh, only update the indexes, not just uh, 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 remove all indexes and add all indexes and uh, new, we just need to remove all indexes for a document and add new indexes uh, new indexes for uh, for the changed document uh, 
and if the document is of course if the document is deleted we need to remove the uh, indexes from the database so for for each document we how we do reindexes is for each document uh, in this document uh, folder we we request uh, the uh, the to with the uh, XML search data uh, from the Collabora online server using this convert to service. Once we get this X, uh, XML uh, XML file back, we can then transform it to the Solar format. Solar has a little bit different format. Uh, for entering uh, all the search data in, into the database. So it has a notion of mainly documents and fields. Uh, don't document is, is not like uh, LibreOffice document, but document generally corresponds to a paragraph or object, and fields are then additional metadata. We also add special fields special field uh, file name uh, to, uh, to identify which document uh, which document uh, it uh, handles and special field uh, content uh, which is then the paragraph text uh, and then we we can submit this search data to solar using http post service so search process Solar has a very extended uh, querying a API and uh, we just don't need everything here. But we can use, of course, all this uh, querying API if needed. So how we search uh, with uh, Solar is we just simple get HTTP uh, send a simple get HTTP request to the Solar server and as a response we get a JSON document uh, with the results or with no results depending if uh, the database found something or not. Uh, there are other, other, other formats are supported like XML, but uh, if we are dealing with a web application, it's, JSON is the simplest to deal with, we don't need to parse it. Uh, like for example, XML. Uh, yes, uh, web app only searches the paragraph text currently, so only content field is uh, important and this is the, the only field uh, that we search in but we could also search in other fields so for example to, to limit only for uh, for uh, for a cert certain type of objects certain type of paragraphs or something like this or just uh, additional just for for example, uh, if we want to search just one one document, we can we can search only in the file name field. Uh, when we get the results back from, we we need to transform the search result again for something uh, that the LibreOffice uh, can render the image. And Libre cu currently LibreOffice supports either JSON, as I said, or JSON or XML and uh, the search result needs to be compatible uh, with that and uh, it also we can reuse this json uh, inside the web application itself uh, to show the search results uh, generally it's just an array of objects uh, array of objects uh, which has key and value pairs for the metadata then we have of course then we have to show the results on the web application uh, now, last is rendering the image. Now, after we show these results uh, on the web application, we can then request rendering of the image for each search, search results. Uh, this is done asynchronously, so we can sh show the results first and then uh, render the image uh, for uh, uh and update the search results when the images get rendered. So we use a render search result service. We send search results uh, and the we send search results in the document. 
uh, to the Collabora office, uh, Collabora online uh, server, and then we get back the image uh, in just pure binary PNG uh, as PNG image. And with that, we can transform the image to base uh, 64 string. This is generally uh, done because it's easier to uh, deal with this uh, on the web application. So the demo. So this is the uh, web app. Here we have uh, a list of object, uh, a list of documents. And uh, as first thing, uh, we need to re-index all the documents. So this uh, here shows the status of uh, what uh, is going on. And the column says re-indexing, and now it's finished re-indexing. Now we can search. We can simply search for, let's say, LibreOffice. Search. And now found uh, in about the LibreOffice uh, document, uh, we found a couple of uh, search results. And this is now rendering uh, where, where uh, the search results are found uh, in which paragraphs. These are now images inside the document. And now we can uh, search for something more general. For example, we can say, well, And now uh, there are multiple results uh, of a well that are uh, in multiple documents. Uh, here we see that uh, this, this result is uh, font work and it found, uh, it found a result, this well, inside font work text. If you go down, we can see like this is image, uh, and it found the result inside the caption of an image. The similar like uh, 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 image is also a shape in font result in the caption of a shape. The following two ones are uh, shapes uh, and rectangles, and it found the result inside the shape text. And so on, we, we have next a couple of paragraphs in other, uh, in other documents. So if we are interested how this document looks like, we can just click here and it will be open the document inside the Collabora Online. And this is the document. We see that we have here, uh, we have here the image, we have here uh, a shape, there's also uh, 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 table which is also shown uh, as a result and uh, another shape and this is then font work objects uh, uh, that 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 uh, we show previously can then I'll go back maybe search for lorem and we have like this lorem uh, documented lorem is found in a lot of uh, places a lot of generally just uh, paragraphs and uh, this and, and this uh, and here we search finished and it found uh, nine results and generally if we go now inside here and change the document, we always have to re-index the document or the search result won't be found. All the changes uh, in the documents uh, won't be found in the search result. So this is all for me. That was my demo and thanks for watching and bye bye.